Hello folks, welcome to Loop Learnix and in this video we are going to continue making the dashboard of the application that we are making. So if you are new to my channel, welcome to Loop Learnix and if you are coming back, then welcome back. Um, in any case, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. Hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever I upload a new video. Now in this video, we are going to continue with the dashboard. If you haven't watched my previous video, in previous video, we did make this uh, skeleton of the dashboard, whatever you're looking at at the moment on the screen. Uh, today we will continue and we will uh, put some more controls onto our form, which will definitely help us in making sure that we operate our system the way we want. So without wasting much time let's get started and i will right click on anywhere on the form go to the design view now we are back into the design view we need couple of text boxes here so for example three text boxes and two text boxes on this side then we will give the proper naming to all the controls so we can refer to them whenever uh, during vba we wish to uh, refer to them now we will start with having text boxes here so we'll go to the design view and i will choose the control under the controls area i'll choose the control called text box and i will just drop in here and i will change the label and i'll say employee name okay uh, let's make it uh, white color font color and the background for this text box should be transparent and the shape outline also transparent okay very very important all right so you need to change the text color as well so make it white so it's a bit more uh you know visible whenever we are working with this all right now let's copy that and paste it and this time we will call it employee id now we're going to copy this again and paste it again and this time we are going to call it rule id now we'll select all of these three text boxes and combo boxes and we'll go to the design tab uh, sorry arrange tab and we will oops so the first thing we need to do is we need to mark make them as layout and now the arrange tab will be activated we'll say none basically a uh, margin between these text boxes should be none zero so that is done now i want two text boxes here and let's uh, copy these two text boxes from here and control c control v and this time we'll bring them on this side we will get rid of these labels we don't want but text boxes we certainly want so therefore we will bring it towards the right side of the form and when we do that we'll go to the format tab and we will change the horizontal anchor from left to right because we always want this to be visible on the right side of the form and we will shrink it a little bit so we don't need that much space for the for them and we will make this text on the right side now i will tell you why we have made why i have made these two text boxes okay first thing first let's go to the form view and we can see that you know text boxes are here but they are not kind of you know visible because they have the invisible outline and that's why a transparent outline and that's why they are not visible but they are certainly here you can see that okay now next thing what we'd like to do is i would like to give a name to all the controls so all the controls mean all the text boxes all the buttons all the list boxes whatever it is on this form i would like to give a name so it is easy for us to refer to those controls during the vb coding whenever we wish to do so so let's go ahead and do that we'll go to the design view first thing first i would like to uh, make these text boxes as non-additable so i select all of them 
I go to the property sheet of those text boxes and go to data tab enabled no locked yes that's what we'll do we'll be doing now let's move on and let's start giving name to all the controls so we'll start from the upper left corner so the first text box will give a name and the employee name will be visible in this box so we'll say txt amp name okay next one is the employee id so we'll say txt amp id then we have role id so we'll select and we'll say txt role id now we'll scroll towards the left oh, sorry right side and these two text boxes we will give a name so we'll say txt uh, menu and txt now viewing very very important uh, these two text boxes you will get to know in next video for sure okay this is also a control although it's a list box so we'll give a name instead of list six we will say list payroll because this list box is going to be used to showcase the payrolls created this is also a control so we'll say instead of list eight we'll say dynamic search because this list box is going to be used for multiple searches and therefore it is important for us to give the right name to the right control and we'll select these two we'll bring them a little bit down and this text box will give a name called txt search okay this uh, button will give a name called btn search now we are left with these buttons okay so we have to give a naming convention to these buttons now these buttons also are there so i will uh, i will do that uh, very soon so let's start with this and we will say btn btn is short form of button and we'll say employees so manage btn manage employees not manager it's only manage employees all right so then we will have btn earnings earnings then we will have deductions so we'll say btn deductions then we'll have payroll so we'll say btn payroll then we'll have common reports so we'll have we'll say btn reports these buttons also now these buttons the way we named these buttons because these buttons are fixed are in the main menu they will perform only one action either to show or hide these buttons in the sub menu so therefore we have to give the proper accurate fixed name to these buttons but these buttons we can give because these buttons are going to be used dynamically and what do i mean by dynamically you will see that in the next video and i would encourage you to to do that okay so these buttons will appear or disappear dynamically these buttons will be uh, show will be used to showcase different set of information in this list, bo list box so that's why we'll just give a name called btn1 btn2 button 1 btn2 which is button 2 btn3 button 3 and btn4 button 4 okay now have we given name to this button i don't think so oh we have okay cool now we have given name to all the controls as of now what do we need to do next next logically we'll think about so logically whenever somebody has not logged on if it is first of all it is not um, possible that without logging on the dashboard can be accessed if let's just say in case that happens so you are putting a firewall and you are protecting the information or protecting the data uh, to be to be created so in that case we will hide the sub menu 
will hide the payroll list box will have this text box as the button and this list box as well so basically if no one has logged on we will not allow anyone to see or change or modify any of the information on the dashboard that makes sense as well so right click anywhere in the form go to design view and let's bring these buttons a little down now we'll select the form from the corner we'll go to the event tab on load event dot 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 and in here hang on we this because this form was copied from the login form so it carried the VB code as well so that we will remove now next next thing next we have to um, we'll say if M txt emp name if this uh, text text box is empty that means no one has uh, logged on then all these controls should be invisible so we'll say if is null me dot txt m txt employee name dot value is equal to true then not to cmt i start just immediately start with to cmt then these buttons these controls should be invisible so btn me dot btn1 dot visible is equal to false me dot btn2 dot visible come on what's happening is equal to false let's save your and my time and i copy and paste btn3 and btn4 what else we want to be in, in, invisible well technically these list boxes also should not be there so we'll say me dot list dynamic search dot visible is equal to false me dot list payroll dot visible is equal to false me dot btn create well this should be btn create not search Okay. If me dot btn create okay next next what it is all right seems like we have oh txt search me dot txt search dot visible is equal to false else make everything true okay so we'll copy paste 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 okay all right and then we'll close it with and if let's save it let's debug it and seems to be okay let's go to the form view boom everything is hidden now because no one has logged on to the system and therefore every single thing is hidden on this form well except these buttons main menu okay now next thing what we would like to do if you have been watching my videos i have prepared a login form as well so when i did that i basically did nothing uh after the logon so now we are connect going to connect login form with the main form so if someone logs on the main form should auto populate who has logged on what is the employee id of that person and what is the role id of that person you getting my point so now we'll go to the login button even tab dot 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 and if we will come down we will see after this welcome message right after this welcome message we'll type a bit of code so we'll say we will bring the employee name employee id and role id whoever of the person who has logged on to this application so we'll say forms exclamation mark oops what is happening forms exclamation mark main form exclamation mark and in here txt m is equal to is equal to what 
rs exclamation mark so basically rs is the record set which we have used so this is the record set which we have used during the logon so rs and we have rs of emp profile which is a table okay where it is here we go emp profile so we'll say emp profile sorry rs um we'll say i'm so sorry i was thinking about something else as well well this happens when you have five different things going on at the same time so i'm recording video and i'm thinking about okay after video what is, what do i need to do next so that's why i've given the wrong parameter here emp name should be emp name well let's bring value only because without value it will be copying the object okay so emp name then we need employee id and we need role id as well okay so we'll copy the entire thing to save yours and my time and we'll say txt emp id is equal to rs emp id so let's verify that so emp id okay emp id now let's go with the um, role id okay so we'll uh, copy the same thing paste in here txt role id and rs would be role id as well and then after that we'll basically copy everything in there all right so now it's time to test out so we'll go to the form view form view loop learning okay with s all right oops okay we have a error message so main forms main txt employee name so what is the difficult here main yeah it's the same name txt amp name txt amp id txt role id well, it seems like we have the correct information forms main txt amp name oh you know what we haven't opened the form so uh, wow wow this is amazing 2cmd dot open form you know let's keep the form name as main only not the main f because then the entire thing will uh, you know so we'll keep it main well this is this is what you know sorry guys if you had to oh we'll get an error again because we have to change the form name here now loop learnings there you go so we get the employee uh, name employee id role id and we don't have any controls appear on this form as well so this is it i hope that you have learned something and uh, even if you are not please do let me know in the comments below and um, uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload a new video thanks so much for watching i will see you in the next one